Guy Thompson is from the UK. He makes porcelains in Jingdu Jin, Jiangxi province of China. He is working on a hexagon lampshade inspired by the snowflakes in his hometown. It's a long road to travel from concept to a perfect finished product. For him, making the lampshade is not just a challenge, it's part of a life changing decision. Guy has a PhD in solid state physics. In 2008, he resigned from an international corporation and decided to start a completely different kind of life. 13 years ago, I was feeling unfulfilled in what I was doing at that point and where I was living. And it was then when I was discussing with my current business partner, August, what, what was possible. And we remembered that we'd been to Jingdezhen maybe 10 years earlier. It was a town where we could be creative. Porcelain is a perfect combination of technique and art. It fits well with Guy's professional skills and is also an ideal platform for his creativity. My grandparents had some export porcelain and my parents then inherited that around porcelain for a while. Coming to the birthplace of porcelain had been Guy's childhood dream. After careful research and preparations, he started his own studio in Jingdu Jen, together with his good friend, August Wong. Okay. <laughs> So 他除了在景德镇以外没有地方可以做到完成Guy was confident about his new career when he first came. But he soon found that making porcelain was a far cry from doing experiments in a lab. August and Guy spent over eight years on these porcelains. Although it was difficult, it gave them invaluable experience. Now they are attempting to make eggshell porcelain and bring it to the China Craft Week in Hangzhou, Zhejiang province. But the road ahead is still uncertain. It becomes evident that Guy and August don't have the skill and experience required to make eggshell porcelains. Guy visits a master who can help, but can only call on him at midnight. He is using a 
Guo An is one of the most renowned eggshell porcelain craftsmen in Jingdu Zhen. Xiong started learning porcelain art at 12 years old and now has 47 years of experience. He is the fourth generation inheritor of his family's craft. Xiong Guo An made this greenware four days earlier, and it has already solidified. It is not yet air dried, but kept in precisely calibrated humidity. The procedure used to make the greenware thinner is called Li Pi. During this process, delicate patterns are carved on the vessel using a dozen different knives. Cutting the porcelain ware until it is paper thin takes years of practice. Even for experienced craftsmen like Xiong Guo An, it can take seven hours to grind a bowl with a diameter of just 20 centimeters. After going through the traditional Li Pi procedure, the porcelain becomes as thin as paper and white as jade. They are no longer just utensils, but works of art. Guy's lampshade is both functional and artistic, with rigorous requirements for hardness, purity of color, and transparency. Master Xiong believes Li Pi will not be enough to meet these standards. Eggshell porcelain lampshades made by mold casting can be bought in stores in Jingdu Zhen. We started, we went into a shop and asked, it's very difficult to find out a recipe for eggshell porcelain in Jintijun. Everybody has their special secret recipe. Guy is worried about the recipe, and August is anxious about something else. Guy feels that Jingdu Zhen is a place that can inspire you when you feel bewildered. Porcelain manufacturing in Jingdu Zhen has a history of more than 1,700 years. The industry began in the early Han Dynasty, flourished in the Yuan Dynasty, and reached its peak in the Ming Dynasty. The local porcelain business has never died down. For Guy, the Eastern style is deeply embedded in this time-honored technique.
景德镇的文化，这个文化是几千年谣火传下来，在这个整个世界上都没有几个地方像那一样。文化这件事情是说不来的，你要感受。那我们到了景德镇之后，我们是深深的感受到了这个瓷器的这个美和它的文化。老板，好、啊，花舍子，一清，啊好，咬好，咬好的，嗯，这里有 ，OK， 我拿你看一下啊，这个才很好的，这个就是做博台的用的、嗯，切面很好的，就是这个切面，它的有一个特点，这个特点就在哪里呢？就是放在舌头下面，吸的都不会掉 ，OK， 你比如看，哈哈哈哈其他的就不会了，那你像别个，嗯。这个就有些东西就吸不了了。But we found in one shop where a supplier sold all the ingredients, he was able to tell us the vague percentages of the three main ingredients, which is the water, caramel, clay, feldspar, and quartz. Balancing hardness and transparency is not just a technical problem, but also a part of Guy's design, which means that he has to make the recipe himself. After the blended mud is poured into the mold, the longer it stays there, the thicker it becomes. That means timing is key to making a porcelain ware that is hard but transparent. This duckling will prove whether the recipe meets their standards. Guy, because he himself has a background in teaching, so he is very used to doing tests. Actually, the most difficult thing in making a tart is that it takes time. It's not that I am busy now and you can have the answer. Many things you need to wait until you have the result to know the outcome. Before firing the ducklings, August and Guy have to go to Huangshan for an important matter. Qimen County in Huangshan is about 100 kilometers from Jingdezhen. It is the main place of origin for kaolin, a clay for making porcelain. The porcelain craft here is from the same school as in Jingdezhen. Guy has come to see Master Jiang Shu Sai, who fires porcelain with firewood. Firing is a critical step. For skilled craftsmen, controlling the fire is like creating a porcelain ware for a second time. Master Jiang burns firewood to make archived porcelains. 这个是那个反圆的青花，它温度偏低一点，或者明缀旧的红，它一千二百六嗯左右的。Guy wants to learn this method to fire his own eggshell porcelain lampshades. This ancient wisdom and craftsmanship give him a new perspective on his creation. The experience is magnified. Here it's much more exciting because you've got the fire going on. So you can see it's more alive. And I think the experience with the wood kiln is more the outcome is more living. It's very difficult to control the temperature precisely, but craftsmen use this toilsome method because it gives different colors and glosses to the porcelain. After lighting the kiln, Master Jiang and his colleagues work for 22 hours until the firing is done. In theory, firewood kilning can be used for Guy's works. But Master Jiang tells Guy that this method can only be carried out twice a year, which is obviously not enough for mass production. Yeah. But I think 
what visiting Mr. Jiang has shown me is we've got to the point where we control everything totally. But the beauty and the magic with his process occurs during the wood firing. And that's where it's almost the magic occurs that some of these glazes change beautifully in the wood fire. Because the temperature can't be precisely controlled, the porcelain wares are given unpredictable glosses and patterns. Each one becomes a unique work of art. Every master we meet, we learn new things from, and that all feeds back into our work and makes our products a lot better. We need to use a slab this. Each of these is a different test, so I don't know what will happen. These ducklings look the same, but are made with different recipes. Guy will fire them in a gas kiln, which means the temperature can be easily controlled. But he's still curious about which recipe will work. After firing them at a temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius, Guy gets his answer. Some of the ducklings have cracked, while others aren't transparent. So these are some of the latest tests that we carried out the other day. What's the biggest difference? Some of these are stronger and whiter, and they're a lot thinner. They look lighter. I think, well, this one is the best. This is the latest recipe. Why is it the best? It weighs six grams, so it weighs absolutely nothing. Okay. One of the recipes used to make these ducklings has proven successful. And also we get... One of the main Guy makes a couple of lampshades with the recipe, but isn't happy with the outcome. This lamp has a couple of problems. There is some problem there. It has an iron spot there. Mold casting shapes the lampshade, but doesn't prevent flaws. Guy turns to Wang Xiaohua for help. Wong has decades of experience working on eggshell porcelain. Bye, Wong. Ah. Master Wong helps Guy complete his work. The lampshade's thickness and hardness are determined by how long the blended mud stays in the mold. With his 40 years of experience, Wong helps Guy precisely manage the time and gives a fine polish to the greenware. I'm getting this right because we, we just wanted it to be. How easy to put your finger through this now. Beautiful. I think it's fantastic. Looks good. We've been very lucky to work with Wang Shu Fu because I think what we, when we make something, we want it to be the best we possibly can.
With Master Wong's help, Guy finally makes the lampshade. It's a symbol of the traditions and changes that have taken place in Jing Do Zhen porcelain art. August has also found a suitable Eastern theme for their work. The traditional Chinese meticulous painting style and patterns of bamboo and plum blossoms all illustrate the origin and story of this lampshade. The traditional culture behind it has nurtured Guy's creativity and given him the life he had always wanted in Jing De Zhen. Today,我们也非常荣幸地邀请到了许多市区领导和国内国外的嘉宾 但是他们在跟匠人去沟通，在跟师傅去沟通的过程当中呢，其实也会为师傅带来一些新的思路。他们这个组合就是希望能够把中国的以及世界的这样的一些会通性的艺术的内容，在一些具象的产品上来做呈